Hello, everybody. So communicating is very difficult uh, during these times um, of remote learning, the COVID-19 um, pandemic and, and everything. So, so it's a little, little, been a little difficult. I've been trying to communicate with um, students through email and that's, that's effective, but uh, there's a much better way of doing things and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. We're gonna um, actually learn how to use the chat feature, which is all part of our um, TUSD um, Google Suite or Google Apps or whatever you wanna call it. Um, so we have this feature built in. Um, the first thing that you need to do to activate this is go ahead and open up um, your Gmail window. That's, that's the easiest way to do this. And then once the Gmail window is open, go to the gear, which is your settings button go down to settings and then there's lots of different options for um, for you to set it up. I wouldn't mess with too many of these things. You might accidentally turn something off that you need to work, but we're going to go to the chat feature, click on that and then turn chat on and save changes. Okay, I don't need to change my make any changes. So I'm going to cancel out of that because I'm already turned on. Okay, the next thing that um, you're going to do is you're going to look over here on this, this side of your um, window. Okay, you might have to try to open something if it looks like everything's closed. You've got some, some bars that you can, uh, you can move around. and So try to get to where um, you see this plus sign. So you can experiment a little bit with that um, if need be, but try, try to get that up. Okay, we're gonna actually start, start a chat, okay? So go ahead and just click new conversation and you're gonna choose someone from your list. I'm gonna choose the three Thompsons. That's my test um, Gmail account here. And notice that uh, this window this window popped up, okay. Um, you can also pop that out. Uh, I'm gonna leave that there. Hopefully I am not uh, blocking you too much down here as I'm talking, but this little window will pop up. Matter of fact, let me, let me see if I can uh, move that, pop that out here just so I can get it. There we go and get that out of the way, perfect. Okay. so. Um, I'm going to send a message to the three Thompsons. We'll just say, hello, how are you? Okay, we're going to hit enter. It'll send that. It's a great feature. You may have heard the little blink on my test computer next to me. Um, another cool thing is, is if you use the, uh, the snipping tool, which is uh, built into Windows. So if you uh, need to find that, just do a search for it, type snipping, it'll probably pop up. The snipping tool is kind of cool too, because if you're having a problem with something, you can click on the snipping tool. Bring that in so you can see it right there, working off of two monitors. Click new, it grays everything out. You've got your little, uh, right now we're in rectangular snip. I think it might default to that. You get your plus sign, you can select what you want. Draw arrows that you want to point out, circle things, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, and simply go to edit copy or control C. And control V into the message window and send that. And you can send things um, that you're trying to point out if you're trying to help somebody. So I've done that with a few students. That's really helped. Um, that's okay. Still not as good as what we're going to um, do now. So you say you're having trouble with some software. You're using Scratch, SketchUp. You're one of my PLTW students and you're having trouble with the PLTW website. Here's something pretty cool. Okay, now you're going to turn on video chat. So you may end up showing up in the window um, when you click that, okay? Um, and I'll show up in the window because I've got my, my video stuff turned on. 
Okay, you can turn the camera off if you don't feel comfortable. Let's say, you know, you're having a bad hair day or something. But this is also going to allow us through the video chat to share screens. That's what um, is really the powerful thing is you can be on a website, you can um, use your cursor, you can scroll, you can show me where you're having a problem. You could take a screenshot for me with the snipping tool and draw arrows. Um, that's where this feature is really um, gonna be cool. I mean, if you wanna um, chat as well and say, hey, you know, th this will also work. So I'm gonna click on the camera. Okay, I'm calling my test person, but this would be, you know, whoever you set the call. Let me go ahead and accept that. So it kind of helps too to have your sound on on your um, your computer. That way you can hear that somebody's calling you um, and so forth. So um, here we go. This is up and, and running. So your microphone, if um, let's say there, there, there could possibly be more than one person on the call if I invited like five students that were having the same problem. You could mute your microphone um, when you're not talking, okay? Um, you can turn the camera on, turn the camera off uh, there as well. Maybe you don't want them to see you, but you want to be able to talk, whatever. Okay, but here's here's the uh, the cool thing. This is where you can share a screen. These three little dots up here, click on it, click share screen. Okay, since I'm running off of two monitors, I actually have two screens. You will probably only have one. Okay, so we'll come in here and... I guess I'll just go ahead and click on this one right here and share that. Okay, now everybody's gonna be able to see that screen. Matter of fact, let me stop that because that may look the same. Let's go to uh, share screen and I'll choose this other one. We'll do screen two because it looks different. Okay, so now this screen, take a look at my, uh, my cursor, right? My cursor is moving around the screen. Um, we can go to different tabs. If you're showing me stuff, like, you know, I just switched to my Google Drive, right? You, we can open up um, another website and, and so forth. Um, you could also use the uh, snipping tool. Let's go ahead and use that. Okay, if I can find my snipping tool. There it is, new. Snip, use the arrows, point certain things out, circle certain things, okay? That's a great feature, okay? That way um, you can show things that are you're having problems with. I can help you with different things. Um, it's a really great feature. Okay, then you can stop the screen sharing. We can go back to a video chat if you want. Go ahead and just close this out. Okay, or go back to this little um, chat window right here. So I hopefully this will make communication better, more efficient, and uh, be less stressful for all of us.